Hello everyone, welcome to Spanish classes online. Today we are going to do Spanish past tense that is Pratirito Indefinido. We will see what are the conjugations, agreement with the verbs and a small exercise to practice it. So come to the classroom, let's see what happens. Welcome to the classroom. This is session number 7. Here we are going to do Spanish regular verbs. Conjugations in past tense. This is part 1 where we will cover Preterito Indefinido. Preterito has 3 parts. Preterito Indefinido part 1, Preterito Imperfecto part 2, Preterito Perfecto part 3, part 1, part 2 and part 3. The first part is Preterito Indefinido. Here we have three categories of verbs, three categories, AR ending, ER ending and IR ending verbs. And this is subject pronoun, these are subject pronouns and for details you can access session number 5. And you can find the link below in the description. See, sí, yo, tú, él, ella, usted is singular subject pronoun. Nosotros, vosotros, ellos, ellas, ustedes, plural subject pronoun. Yo means first person. Tú means second person. And él, ella, usted comes under third person. All are singular subject pronouns. Plural, nosotros means first person plural. Vosotros, second person plural, and Elios, Elias, Ustedes, third person plural. These are subject pronouns. We are taking hablar. This is the AR ending verb. It means to speak, AR ending verb. Here we have to drop AR and we have to add suffixes. Like a with accent, aste, o with accent, amos, asteis, aron. The suffixes first person, second person, third person singular suffix, first, second, third person plural suffix. See, the conjugation for second, third person is hablé, hablaste, habló and plural for second, third person, plural. Hablamos, hablaste, hablaron. Hablé is first person. Hablaste, second person. Conjugation, habló, third person. These are all are third, uh, singular. Hablamos, first person, plural. Hablasteis, second person plural. Hablaron, third person plural. These are the conjugations. Now we will move, we will do some other verbs. We will conjugate following same, same rule. Drop AR, add suffixes respectively. Charlar means To gossip, here we have to drop AR, then we'll get some root words. Root word, Charles, we'll write it six times, and later we have to add suffixes first, second, third person plural, first, second, third person singular. In singular, we have to add a, charle, charlaste, charlo, charlamos, charlasteis, charlaron, charlaron. This is extra char because there are six, so I remove. Cantar, second verb, 
drop ar add suffixes but before that we have to write suffix uh, root word kant kant we get it when we drop ar kant kant and add suffixes suffixes like a as the o amos as the is our own we'll do it change the color now suffixes are in blue we'll do it again we need only six conjugations so i've written six times suffixes are a as the o amos as the is our own kante kantaste kanto Cantamos, cantasteis, then cantaron. Another verb is bailar, to dance. Again, we have to drop ar here and add suffixes. Suffix means e asteo, amos, asteis, aron. These suffixes are are for air ending preterito indefinite verbs bile root word bile six times again bile bile we'll add suffixes bile in blue suffixes in blue bile Bailaste, bailo, bailamos, bailasteis, bailaron. Next verb is estudiar. Estudiar means to study. It's AR ending verb. Here we have to drop AR again. And then we'll write root word that is estudi see suffixes we'll add but before root word estudi estudi six times we'll write it Six times means three, first, second, third person singular, and first, second, third person plural. Six times. Then we'll add suffixes. In blue, estudie, estudiaste, estudio with accent, estudiamos, estudiasteis, estudiaron. These are the conjugations. Four verbs. Cantar, charlar, cantar, bailar, estudiar. We can see first person everywhere with an accent. Charle, cante, baile, estudie. Again we'll see accents on third person singular conjugation. I make stars you can see these are four uh, these are this is third person charlo cha canto by law studio we have to put an accent on o in third person singular let's move to er ending verbs er ending verbs they have different pattern of conjugations but dropping and adding suffixes this remains same but suffixes changes change already we have known uh, subject pronouns yo tu elia usted singular nosotros vosotros elios elias ustedes plural for subjects pronoun, pronoun already i've said that you can you can check session number five Everything is written, everything is explained in detail there. 
and link you can find in the description box. Now what to do? As we know these are this is ER ending Spanish verb. Subject pronouns yo tu el ella usted means singular first second third person and first second third person plural nosotros vosotros ellos ellas ustedes all are written in this regard we are we are going to get six conjugations the verb taken is comer is a this is a verb ending with er we have to add suffixes e with accent that is i in english este io imos estéis eron this is spanish pronunciation e is the io imos estéis eron let's see comer means com will be the root word first second third person plural conjugation is comi comiste comio comimos comisteis comieron is plural comi is first person singular comiste second person singular comio third person singular these are the conjugations comimos first person plural comisteis second person plural and comieron is third person plural conjugation so we have six conjugations and same way using these suffixes over here we'll read it comi comiste comio comimos comisteis comieron you can also read with me comi comiste comio comimos comisteis comieron again we have set of verbs er ending verbs we'll do using these suffixes and the process will remain the same what is the process we have to drop er and add suffixes respectively and for each we have to write the word root word six times and we'll add suffixes drop er from beber beber means to drink and add suffixes but root word is beb beb six times we'll do again beb beb suffixes are e is the io emos is this year on we'll write in blue baby baby stay baby oh we can find first again first person and third person with accent baby mos baby stays and baby year on Our next verb is aprender. Aprender, ER ending verb. Drop ER and add suffixes. Write the verb root word six times. Aprend. 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 Aprend six times. Aprend and add suffixes in blue. <coughs> Aprendi, aprendiste, aprendió. Accent on first and third. Aprendimos, aprendisteis, aprendieron. I e r o n. Aprendieron. These are six conjugations. Third verb is vender. B e n d e r. Vender. Again, drop e r. And add suffixes. E is the yo e mos is the is e r on. What to do? Root word, bend six times. Bend, 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 and bend. These are six root words. Now we'll add suffixes in blue. Those are 
vendí, vendiste, vendió, accent in first person and third person singular, <coughs> vendimos, vendisteis, vendieron. The last verb is romper. Romper means to break. Er ending verb. <coughs> Drop er. And add suffixes. What are those? Root word is romp. Six times we'll write a romp, romp, a romp, romp. And last romp. Why six? Three for singular and three for plural. Now we'll write suffix in blue. Rompi, rompiste, rompio. Accent on first and third person singular. Rompimos, rompisteis, rompieron. So these are the conjugations of the verbs given: beber, aprender, vender, and romper. We can see in first person. First person, first person, baby, aprendí, vendí, and rompí. They have accent on I. And third person, bebió, aprendió, vendió, and rompió. They have accent on O. Or we can see first and third person singular, they have accent. Now we'll switch to IR ending verbs. What are IR ending verbs? Subject pronouns. In IR ending verb, you can check the description. For the subject pronouns, subject pronouns first, second, third person singular. Yo tu elia usted, nosotros vosotros elios elias usted is plural subject pronouns. Yo means first person, tu second person, elia usted third person singular. Nosotros is first person plural. Vosotros, first person plural, second person plural, and Elios, Elias, usted is third person plural subject pronouns. Here we have taken IR ending verb. Again, we have to drop IR and put suffixes. Vivir means to live. And suffixes are same as ER ending verbs. E is the Io, imos, isteis, ieron. First and third person singular accent. We have to write root words. That is v i v v six times, and add suffixes. These are first person, second person, third person singular, and rest three first, second, third person plural. V v first person conjugation of vivir in preterito indefinito. Viviste, second person conjugation. Vivio, third person conjugation. These are singular conjugations. Vivimos, first person plural conjugation. Viviste, second person plural. Vivieron, third person plural conjugation. We'll revise it again. Viv. Viviste, vivió, vivimos, vivisteis, vivieron. You also can read with me. Vivi, viviste, vivió, vivimos, vivisteis, vivieron. Accent on first and third person singular. These are other examples of IR ending verbs. Again, we have to drop IR and add suffixes. First verb is abrir. When you drop IR, we'll get root word. That is A B R I. A B R. A B R. Six times we'll write it. And respective sus suffixes are e. I'll write in blue. Abri. Abriste. Abrió. Abrimos. Abristeis, abrieron.
Second verb is recibir, to receive. I add a new verb, drop it, and add suffixes. E is the yo, emos is the is ear on. Root word is receive six times. We'll write it. Receive. Receive. Receive six times. Receive. Receive. Suffixes e, is the, yo, emos, is the, is ear on. It becomes recibe, recibi, recibiste, recibió, recibimos, recibisteis, recibieron. Next verb is escribir. I are ending verb. Drop it. Write the root word. And add suffixes. <clears throat> Escribe six times. First, second, third person singular and first, second, third person plural. I'll write it. Skip, scrape, scrape six times. Escribe. Then Suffixes in blue. <clears throat> Escribí. Escribiste. Escribió. Escribimos. Escribisteis. And escribieron. Next verb is subir. To go up, IR, drop it, add suffixes, R, E is the EO, EMOS is the ear on, but root word is soup, soup, write six times, soup, 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 six times and add suffixes in blue, that is subi, it becomes subi, subiste, Subio, subimos, subisteis, subisteis, subieron. Conjugation done. ER, AR, ER, and IR ending verbs. These were four extra verbs to practice IR ending. You can see abri, recibi, escribi, subi. First person singular, where we have an accent on I. Second thing, we can see third person singular, abrió, recibió, escribió, subió, with an accent. Or we can say third person singular, we have to put an accent on O. <coughs> That's it. Now, all ER, ER, IR, IR ending, preterito, indefinite, the verbs, we have to revise it. Let's go up. See, preterito, indefinite, part one. There are three categories AR, ER, and IR ending verb. We are doing AR ending verb, subject pronouns, and the respective verbs in conjugations. See the agreement because subject verb agreement is required everywhere in the language. We can see AR ending verb. This is the set. You can see yo, first person singular, and respective conjugation is able in AR ending verbs. Yo able means I spoke. Second, Person singular, tu hablaste, means you 
spoke. Third person singular. El haya usted habló. Means he, she, or you formal spoke. Nosotros hablamos means we all spoke. Vosotros, I write first. Vosotros hablasteis, you all spoke. And third person, Elios, Elias, Ustedes means they all, or you for all formal, spoke. This is about AR ending, preterito, indefinito conjugation and agreement between subject and verbs with the translation. These are some other verbs. We can have a look here. Charlar means to speak, to gossip, to talk, and respective conjugations are charle, charlase, charlo, charlamo, charlasteis, charloron. You can read it. Charlaste, charlo, charlamos, charlasteis, charloron. Second verb is cantar. Cantar is a ending verb that means to sing. Respective conjugation, sir. Cante. Cantaste, canto, cantamos. Cantasteis, cantaron. Remember, first and third person singular with accent. Third verb is bailar, a ending verb. <coughs> bailar to dance. Conjugations are baile, bailaste, bailo, bailamos, bailasteis, bailaron. Last verb is estudiar, means to study, a ending verb. It is to study and conjugations are Estudie, estudiaste, estudio, <coughs> estudiamos, estudiasteis, estudiaron. <coughs> These are four verbs. Next, we follow the ER ending verbs in preterito indefinido. Regular. Here ending verbs, and we'll see subject pronouns, or we can say subject verb agreement here. Yo, comí, means I ate. Tú, comiste, means you ate. Él, ella, usted, comió, means, he, she, or you, formal, ate. Next, nosotros, comimos, we all, ate. Vosotros, comisteis. You all ate. Elios, Elias, ustedes means they all, or ustedes means you all formal. Comieron, they all ate. 
these are e ending verbs in pretérito indefinido and the agreement see we have e r ending verbs to practice beber aprender vender and romper these are e r ending verbs we'll check how to do how to pronounce see one more important point is and beber we have to drop er means to drink becomes baby bebiste bebio bebimos bebisteis bebieron next aprender next verb is aprender er ending verb aprender means to learn here we have to drop er and add suffixes we have done to learn aprendi aprendiste aprendió aprendimos aprendisteis aprendieron next verb is vender it means to sell conjugation is as follows vendí vendiste vendió vendimos vendisteis vendieron next verb is romper e r ending verb it means to break and the conjugation will be rompí rompiste rompió rompimos rompisteis rompieron these are six conjugations but here we have to observe one point that uh, the first person in the conjugation observe it first person and third person they have an accent accent point is important see the accent points first person like baby aprendi bendi rompi the first person singular and third person singular see i highlight baby first person singular aprendi bendi and rompi these are first person singular conjugations where we have an accent on i second point in third person singular again we have to put an accent putting stars bebió aprendió vendió rompió this point you have to remember for pretérito indefinido conjugations first person and third person with an accent now switching to ir ending verbs we'll check the agreement and then translations ir ending verb already we have no non subject pronouns yo tu el ella usted nosotros vosotros ellos ellas ustedes and verb is vivir to live check the agreement agreement yo vivi yo vivi i lived second person tu viviste you lived next is el ella usted vivió he she or you formal lived lived next nosotros vivimos vivimos means we lived we 
vosotros vivisteis, you all lived. Vosotros vivisteis, you all lived. Next, Elios, Elias, ustedes vivieron. Means, they all lived. Or, if we say ustedes vivieron, means, you all formal lived. Ustedes. So, we can take Elios, Elias as one. And also the different. See some examples related to IR ending verbs. See, we'll, we'll check the conjugations. Here we have four verbs to practice. IR ending, Pratirito, Indefinido. Regular conjugations. Abrid means to open. And respective conjugations are first, second, third person, singular and plural. Abri. Abriste. Abrio. Abrimos, abristeis, abrieron. Second verb, I are ending, recibir, to receive. That is, recibi. You also can practice with me. Recibiste, recibio, recibimos. Recibisteis, recibieron. Next verb is escribir. I are ending verb. Escribir means to write. Conjugation <coughs> is escribí, escribiste, escribió. Escribimos, escribisteis, escribieron. A last verb is subir, I are ending verb. Subir means to climb, to go up. To go up or to climb. The conjugations are as follows. Subí, subiste, subió, subimos. Subisteis, subieron, to climb. These are four IR ending, pratirito indefinido, regular verbs. And the important point is to remember the accents we put with first person singular and third person singular. Everywhere you have to observe this point. The accent plays important role in Pratirito Indefinido or any other sentence tenses. So first person is first person singular is in with an accent and you can observe here abri, recibi, escribi, subi and same way third person singular is Abrio, recibio, escribio, subio. Accent points. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I hope you have enjoyed the class. You may write your comments. You may ask if you have any query. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.